allow me to tell you about my journey of writing a book called The Science of Agency. It started amid life's unpredictability when I found myself facing an unexpected and devastating loss of employment within my profession. This blow, coupled with the recent purchase of a new home that can take care of our aging parents and significant investments in a post-COVID career approach for both my wife and myself, shocked me to the core. The security I once had to provide for my family evaporated almost overnight, plunging us into financial and emotional uncertainty. As I was, and still am, grappling with this new reality, the feeling of losing agency over my life was overwhelming, and writing my first self-published book was my very first and somewhat overly rationalized response. I was no longer the provider or the professional I had always been, but I knew I had the opportunity to pour myself into something I have been thinking and reading about for more than 20 years. This intense personal experience of lost agency immediately mirrored the broader human condition during the COVID-19 pandemic, where industries crumbled and countless lives were disrupted. I did not have any right to only think about my devastation, even if it remains overwhelming. It was only after I wrote this book that I had time to reflect on my loss. It was during this period of introspection and struggle that the true nature of the science of agency began to take shape, long after words were set on paper. This book emerged from a place of deep personal reflection and a profound sense of solidarity with humanity's collective loss of agency. The pandemic had stripped away our illusions of control and I faced the universal abyss together with all God's creatures, revealing the fragility of our societal and personal constructs. The science of agency is a narrative in the form of a systematic analysis that only an engineer, a scientist with the heart of a philosopher can generate. It is a call to reclaim our humanity in the face of large-scale upheavals, whether personal or as a community. The essence of this work is to advocate for a pathway to regain our sense of agency and to rebuild and renew our capacity to make meaningful choices in our lives. This book aims to provide realistic insights into where and how we lose our agency amid mechanistic successes. The book delves into a deep analysis of ancient times and then shines a light on how the 19th century efforts of progress steered us towards a Huxleyan brave new world. In this world, mechanistic and deterministic views have dominated our understanding of progress and success, often at the expense of our sense of agency and humanity. The science of agency shifts focus towards our true place on a consciousness spectrum, the canvas on which God created all living beings. It explores how we can turn away from an overemphasis on mechanistic achievements and reconnect with our inherent agency and humanity. The process of writing this book was both cathartic and enlightening. It allowed me to explore the depths of human resilience and how we can find strength amidst adversity. As I delved into the historical and philosophical underpinnings of agency, I found parallels between ancient struggles and modern challenges, highlighting the enduring nature of human agency, and above all, God's eternal and redeeming agency in Jesus Christ. The science of agency became a solution grounded in the resilience of the sanctified human spirit in communion with God and a close-knit community emerges, offering an antidote to the devastation that misplaced mechanistic agency can unleash. The ideas in the book almost naturally started to underscore the essential role of community and faith as bulwarks against the dehumanizing effects of overly mechanistic perspectives on reality. I hope 
that it will inspire others to navigate their challenges with renewed strength and purpose, finding ways to restore their own agency and humanity in a world that often feels beyond their control. The Science of Agency has been published on Kindle and on Kobo, where you can find both a text and an audio version of the book. Links to each of the ebook platforms can be found in the description.